guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to wrap Pony Club wraps. I will be showing you guys how to wrap a polo wrap for your D3, a sanding wrap for your C1, and a shipping wrap for your C2. I am a C2 studying for my HB, so I thought I'd show you guys all about some like tips and tricks and just kind of like the general idea of how to wrap these wraps. So without further ado, wait, if you guys have not checked out my social media, they will be right here. Go follow me, I will add you back on Snapchat and we can have streak and stuff like that. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get on into the video. Alrighty, so starting off with a polo wrap. You are obviously going to need the polo wrap and you're going to start on the inside middle of your horse's leg and you're going to wrap front to back. So on your horse's left legs, that means you wrap counterclockwise and on your horse's right legs, that means you wrap clockwise. Um, going against this direction will pull on your horse's tendons and stretch them over their bones, um, which can do a lot of damage. So I'm going to work my way down, and when I reach the fetlock, I'm going to cup it and make the V at the bottom. I prefer to double cup just because I have pony or Penelope has pony legs. Um, oop, and she's eating hay as I'm filming this. So as you can see, there's a little V at the bottom where the two cross, and as I come up, I'm going to be... Um, going up by th about third increments um, and even increments. So the gaps in between each wrap um, are equal. Uh, preferably you went on the outside and I kind of did at the very end of the polar wrap. It's on the inside in which case I would um, tape it or rewrap it. Um, but there is consistent pressure all the way around which you can feel by squeezing it and sticking your fingers in. Every part of your horse's leg should be double wrapped, and that is the V that I am talking about at the front. Um, yeah, going on for your C1, you need to learn how to wrap a standing wrap. So you obviously are going to need a pillow, mine are filthy, and again, start on the inside of the horse's leg, wrapping front to back on the outside of the legs, um, like so. I, these are the Nova pill wraps from Dover, and I absolutely love them. I've heard people say they hate them, things like that. After I've wrapped my standing or my pillow wrap all the way around, I'm going to take my staple bandage and hook the tail end of it underneath the uh, loose end of the stable wrap, and I'm going to once again work my way down. Um, again, you're going to cup the fetlock here which is what I did right there, and I'm going to come back up, making that V, and like I said, I always double cup, just, I've just gotten in the habit of that, it just provides a little bit extra support, and again, I'm going to come up leaving about a third of my polar wrap, or a third of the stable wrap sticking out, coming up in even increments, and you always want to make sure that you're flattening the wrap out, because any wrinkles um, when they're rolled over each other will cause pressure points and can just dig into your horse's legs. Again, ideally you end on the, the very tail end of your, the Velcro ends on the outside of your horse's leg, which it does right here. Um, as you can see, I can fit about a finger or two in there. The pressure should be consistent all the way around. Um, I, if I were going to be leaving my horse in the stall, I would uh, tape that tail end of the Velcro down. Um, I have the V in the front, and preferably you wouldn't have that little piece of the wrap or the pillow wrap sticking out like that. But um, on the whole, this was a pretty solid wrap. And finally, for your C2, you're going to need to wrap a shipping bandage or a shipping wrap which as I'm right here I'm kind of showing you how long it should be. Um, this should cover your horse's coronet band, bulbs the heel, and then just start to go over the horse's knee. Again starting on the middle this one is a lot harder to wrap in my opinion but actually I've gone to the point where this is probably my best wrap just because I do it the most often. It's most recent and I've worked in it so much because it was very challenging for me to get and to look nice. Again, I'm going to take the tail of my stable wrap and hook it underneath the excess of my um, pillow wrap or my pillow bandage. I'm going to make my way down. And now when you do this, 
when you do your shipping wrap, you are not going to cup the fetlock. You're just going to kind of roll over it. Um, and if you keep your consistency or your pressure consistent all the way around with your wrap, it'll kind of conform to itself. And so you'll get the fetlock, the pastern, all that jazz, um, you know, all on its own. I'm going to wrap over the cornet band at least once. Um, I prefer to do twice, like so, and you're also going to want to get underneath the bulbs of the horse's heel for your pony club rating. They will look for that. If you are not covering the bulbs of the heel, you're not going to pass. Um, so right there, I was shoving the dirt un out from underneath her hoof so I could kind of get underneath there. Um, some people for prefer to put their horse's foot on a stool. Um, and again, you would like to try to make that V. And once again, I'm going to be coming up in even increments. Um, trying to keep my pressure consistent. And I was also realizing that I was running out of wrap just because I went down in such small increments. So again, this is the kind of thing that you're just going to have to keep working on until you feel like it is adequate enough to pass a pony club rating. So... As you can see here, I am just unfolding that little wrinkle that I had at the top. Um, but as you can see, even increments, I went down, covered the coronet band, um, which is right there, covered all of the hair. Um, I had the V at the front, and like I said, you can kind of see the shape and outline. And here you can see that I got underneath Penelope's bulbs for heel, um, which is a necessity for your C2. And for a shipping wrap. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> she's, she's not a huge fan of them. Um, so as you guys just saw, that is how to wrap Pony Club wraps. I have my polar wrap, my shipping wrap, and my stable wrap. If you guys want more Pony Club videos, more tips on videos like this, or more tips like this, please let me know. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe right down below, as well as leave me any other video suggestions that you may have. If you want teaching videos on Pony Club, if you want more how-to videos like how to lunge or how to do whatever, if you want more riding rods, skip videos, let me know because I would like to be uploading more. I just kind of would want some more ideas and want to be making sure that I'm giving you guys videos you want to see. Have a great day. I love you all so much. Peace out. Bye.